HBO's The Undoing is another dark, binge-worthy thriller from David E. Kelly, the creator of Big Little Lies. But, for a sector of the internet that loves marmalade, eating bears, it's also a link to the Paddington universe. The show's stars, Nicole Kidman and Hugh Grant, play Paddington's fiendishly funny foes in the 2015 film and its 2018 sequel, respectively, making Undoing a quasi-villain team up. In some ways, The Undoing is really the Paddington origin story, how those two people became who they were, grand jokes. God, don't write that, Kidman says with a laugh. Her daughters Sunday Rose, 12, and Faith Margaret, 9, were absolutely mortified that I was playing the person that wanted to hurt the bear. I remember they didn't want to show their friends because they were embarrassed that I was the villain. That is progress, Nicole Kidman reveals her daughter wants to be a director staying apart, together, why Paddington, dancing and meditation bring joy amid COVID, 19 the villains are much harder to spot in undoing, premiering Sunday, 980T slash PDT. A six episode limited series based on Jean Hanf Karelitz's 2014 novel You Should Have Known. The series follows Grace Fraser, Kidman, a successful therapist and wife to Jonathan, Grant, a pediatric oncologist, living in New York's Upper East Side. Their teenage son Henry, Noah Jupe, attends a prestigious prep school, which suddenly becomes the eye of a media hurricane when a young mother, Matilda DeAngelis, is brutally murdered the night after a glamorous school fundraiser. Jonathan vanishes the same day, making him a leading suspect in the case. To say much more would spoil the drama's relentless, nail, biting twists, as Grace uncovers incriminating secrets about Jonathan and questions whether he's guilty. It was interesting to play somebody who cannot decipher her own life properly, Kidman says. So many people say, I'm fantastic at reading everything, but when it comes to my own life, forget it. With its rich housewives, intense therapy scenes and central murder mystery, Undoing has strong parallels to Big Little Lies, for which Kidman won a Best Actress Emmy in 2017. She acknowledges some similarities between the soapy HBO dramas, but says the new show is more of a psychological thriller. It is meant to be a ride, and it's been particularly constructed so that each episode ends in a cliffhanger, says Kidman, 53, who also executive produces and sings the series title theme. Her advice for watching, don't believe anything you get told. Nothing is what it seems. The Oscar winner has been good friends with Grant since the early 90s, and even came close to a small role in his 2003 rom, Com Love Actually. But I feel like we've worked together many times, she says. I've always felt strangely relaxed around him, which made it relatively easy playing husband and wife. They're both very compelling and very sexy together, adds director Suzanne Beer, Netflix Bird Box. There was a fun, flirtatious, dynamic, and yet in these scenes, there are huge tensions between them. Grant, 60, was drawn to the show's Hitchcockian elements, well, dress people in nice apartments, and something evil's going on. With Jonathan, I like the sense of, can this be for real? Has too wonderful, this man. Is there something we're not seeing? Then the layers of the onion come off quite fast in subsequent episodes. Undoing is the latest project produced by Kidman's Blossom Films, which he founded in 2010. Blossom is now filming Hulu's Nine Perfect Strangers, an adaptation of Leanne Moriarty's 2018 novel that also stars Kidman and his co, created by Kelly. The series was set to shoot in Los Angeles before the coronavirus pandemic, forcing the actress to relocate production to her native Australia. I would like to be able to say it's easy, but it's actually difficult. Kidman says of shooting under COVID safety guidelines. We get tested three times a week, everyone's masked, Terry's zones that you work in. It was so good to be able to give people jobs and to be able to do something right now. And I will only say, for now, because you can get shut down at any time. If Terry's a case, that's it. So it's very, very different. Grant, meanwhile, is still in lockdown in London with his family where his version of work is quite different. I've developed new skills, and I'm quite a good hairdresser now, he deadpans. I started with my daughter's Barbie dolls. Then, having chopped all their hair to pieces, I ran out of dolls and went on to my children.